Discount Left 4 Dead. Yes, I know, extremely obvious reference, but really this game is crying out desperate to be compared to Left 4 Dead. A comparison which pretty much exclusively lands this on the losing side. It also it just it feels like stripped of features and content version of Left 4 Dead. It doesn't even, you know, Contagion has a lot of problems, but it still, as a clone, does a ton of things different from Left 4 Dead, and this just feels like it's trying to do Left 4 Dead and just gives up part of the way through. You can really tell that it's the same engine from V2, and thus it has a lot of the same problems. And V2 was not made for these big, you know, enemy groups. I mean, it is well worth noting that this does allow you to fight dozens of zombies without any lag or the like, but the moment that they get close to you, it's still... These games were not really made for you to fight up close, or at least up close fighting is not very well done. And yeah, it really, really shows here. Now, co-op allows for anywhere between two to four players, and it can be a lot of fun with strategizing, and this does have one or two things, two things, that set it apart from Contagion and Left 4 Dead. The sniper, obviously, and the actual explosive traps, which are more varied than in the others, and the explosive traps are one of the best weapons against these genuine hordes of zombies where you can literally find yourself killing upwards of 30 or more zombies with a single well-placed trap and still have plenty left to face. The game does not always... it rarely forces you to snipe, which is at least a decent, you know, way to go about it. And, you know, there are a number of open areas and just straight paths that really lend themselves to good sniping, but can also just be done by running up close to enemies and using these the two shotguns that this adds to from the V2 arsenal and such. The AI is fine, the, there are hardly any boss enemies or boss fights, and they get frustrating and really predictable. This relies entirely too much on you headshotting enemies, and that gets really old. The, the, there's not a lot of gore in this, which, again, compared to Contagion and Left 4 Dead, is very disappointing. And there are too few weapon types, the weapons are far too similar to each other, and this doesn't even have much of a melee fighting a possibility. You can kick, which is really awkward, and does not appear to do damage. It can give you some breathing room, but yeah, it's a far cry from the katanas and axes and the like that the rivals of this game offer. The collectibles do give you a little bit more to keep coming back, but in four or five hours you'll have beaten the one campaign and the one mode, the five levels that this offers. You can't play as special zombies, which to be fair wouldn't be any fun because they're just not that interesting, and the five enemy types also get really, you know, you get really used to them, and this gets really repetitive and monotonous fast. When you play this really early on, you're either going to get super into it, or you're going to get so sick of it, you'll probably never play it again. And especially, there's little reason to keep playing after you've beaten it. It does have international leaderboards, but it's the those. It's far too scripted, and you go through the levels, and pretty much the exact same things happen. So, you know how to behave in a situation, it's a far cry from Left 4 Dead's inspired AI director which will suddenly send a special infected your way. Not so often or so jarringly that it overwhelms the players, but enough to keep them on their toes. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.